We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our Heavenly Father, you come to us in a very special way in this season of Lent, offering us the opportunity to journey with you in the desert. May we open up our hearts and partake in our Lenten observance, knowing that you are with us in the desert. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we, we are in the season of Lent. And Lent is a very holy season. It's a period the church gives us to basically return to God. It is like journeying with Jesus 40 days in the desert. And as we, are, we already know, we are offered three pillars of Lent, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. But there's one special thing that during the season of Lent, everybody wants to do. Everyone, everybody wants to give up something. Everybody wants to sacrifice something. So today I would want to delve more in, into Lenten sacrifices. For us, we understand what we are sacrificing and our attitude towards what we sacrifice. Now, what is sacrifice? Sacrifice now is used in a very broader sense, but the word itself has a religious connotation or religious meaning. According to St. Thomas Aquinas, sacrifice is a bodily act of offering a gift to God, which is broken. And as we offer this gift, we in turn return to God. So from his definition of what sacrifice is, you can't distance sacrifice from what the person is offering. So whatever you offer, comes from your heart and you are associated with what is being sacrificed now looking at just the word sacrifice in the latin word it is sacrificium sacrificium you can divide it into two words sacre which means holy and facere which means to offer so just by the word sacrifice it means to offer or to make holy so in sacrificing we are making holy but the question is what are we making holy our sacrifice is to make us holy so whatever you offer the main intention is to help you towards holiness so you are offering something and god in turn is supposed to look on what you are offering to make you holy so we look at scriptures the first sacrifice you can find in scripture i think should be in genesis 4 where cain and abel offered sacrifices to god Abel offered the first fruit from his produce, from his heart. So God accepted the sacrifice. But Cain, on the other hand, didn't offer anything which was pleasing to God. So God didn't accept his sacrifice. And in turn, he got angry and killed his brother. Another sacrifice we would find in scripture would be the sacrifice of Abraham. God told him, sacrifice Isaac, your only begotten son. Isaac was his only begotten son, something he treasured, but that was what God wanted him to sacrifice. So the main point here is this. Sacrifices are supposed to make us holy and we can't distance ourselves from what we sacrifice. So in this season of Lent, what, what do we want to sacrifice? What do we want to give up? It should be something which is precious to you. It is something which you really want to give up to God, looking at what you really want to achieve to make you yourself holy. I try to look up some few things on what to do to sacrifice. This list is not exhaustive. You don't have to just pick everything, but pick what you know you can do. It would be good to pick one thing and do it well than to pick a whole lot and then you'll not be able to achieve anything. So one thing you can sacrifice is, I know most of us drive, I mean, everybody drives. So instead of sitting in your car driving and listening to music and dancing why not just tune down the music try and pray chaplet of divine mercy rosary or we have this rosary recorded songs you can put it in and as you are driving you meditatively pray so you give up you sacrifice music dancing in the car to praying it could be one way another way we, what we can sacrifice to will be this. I know most of us, we, we like speeding. I mean, maybe it's 70, we just add 20 to it, so you're going 90 and I mean all that. 
you tell yourself this is not length um i'm going to stick to the speed limit so you just move to the slow lane and as you enjoy your ride you can also still pray you have more time to slow down to pray and then commune with god it could be another wonderful way what you can also sacrifice is instead of always complaining i mean as, as humans we like to complain always complain about everything stop complaining look at the brighter side of life instead of you to complain just ask yourself what lesson is this challenge i'm going through with what life is presenting me what can i pick from that another thing we can sacrifice this is not lent uh, most of us have a lot of cluster i mean you go to your kitchen you go to your bedroom you go to your closet a whole lot of things you don't even know where to put your leg and do what you can have time to decluster your your house go through your wardrobe it's not about things that are not nice and presentable no i always tell people if you have something that in a year you have not used you don't need it all the clothes in your wardrobe if after a year you've not worn that particular dress give it out for the ladies your lot of bags you have every bag for every dress every shoe if you haven't worn that particular shoe or bag in a year you don't need it give it out that could be that sacrifice what you are giving up in this season of Lent, you can also make time to read so instead of always being on your phone maybe eight hours a day just cut your screen time cut sitting behind a television try and pick up the bible maybe a chapter you want to read a chapter a day you may want to read a whole maybe the book of genesis it could be a good thing for you to do you could also take a good spiritual book and read you could also limit your time with your phone and all that and have time for your family and friends another way is instead of always being on your phone you tell yourself so join table no phone so that we can actually communicate it's so funny you go to restaurant the people are eating and they're always on their phone you have to communicate with one another speak to people so this is what you can also do another interesting thing you can do especially for the ladies give 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 your face a break i mean this is enough lent Instead of always doing makeup and putting things, let your face rest a little bit in this season of, of Lent. And the money you would have used to buy your makeup and all that, give it out. Help someone who is who is in need. We also encourage to go to confession. Some people find it so difficult to go for confession. That should be something that you want to sacrifice. Maybe sacrifice your you feeling so shy and not to go for confession and actually go go for confession. People do like to gossip, yes, and they, they enjoy gossiping. So you give up that gossiping, instead of gossiping, why not share the word of God with others? Why not encourage someone who is going through difficult time? The list is, is a lot, but you get it. It should be something that you are willing to give up in order to make yourself holy, to help you on your Lenten journey. Pick what works best for you. Don't do a whole lot of 10 things and you not do it well. It's better to pick just one and do it well. If you know one work for you, yes, let it be your personal sacrifice to help you and make you holy in this season of Lent. Thank you. For this season of Lent, I would want to propose an activity for all of us, something that would help us in this 40 days of, of Lent. I would, I would want you to get a journal, maybe a book, maybe on your phone, just get one particular place that you, you can always type things. And I would want you to put in every day at least one thing that you are grateful for. So before you sleep, at the end of the day, just give yourself five minutes, just reflect on the whole day and ask yourself what am i grateful for today what can i thank god for today and write something down at least one thing and do this every day for this 40 days at the end of this lenten season we will review all of them so that we know that yes life is still worth living and god has been gracious to each and every one of us so i would challenge each and every one of us to participate in this in this activity get a book maybe a phone something write at least what you are grateful for each day before you sleep in the name of
of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your words that have come to us, making us realize that we need to sacrifice something to make us holy in this season of Lent. May we be ardent in our pursuit towards holiness, and may we walk with you in this season of Lent with prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you.